Cell phone video shows the confrontation that led to a dad's arrest at a Broward school. That father has been fighting the district's mask mandate, and this latest incident has him facing serious charges. NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on the clash caught on camera. Jamie. Jackie, the father seen on video pushing a student who tried to take his cell phone is facing child abuse charges. He'll spend the night in jail behind me tonight. His attorney is asking why the student who instigated it all isn't facing charges herself. This is the scuffle Wednesday morning at Fort Lauderdale High School making headlines. In the video, a teen is seen going up to a man attempting to grab his cell phone. No. <laughs> The man, a parent, Dan Bauman, is then seen pushing the student. This is video Bauman being arrested. Bauman has been in front of his daughter's school all week protesting the mask policy. According to a police report, the student who tried to grab his cell phone said she had enough after four days. The report then says Bauman pushed the child by the shoulder and grabbed her hand and twisting her arm in an aggressive manner, which caused me and the security to pull the defendant off the child. He's charged with aggravated child abuse, a first-degree felony. His daughter vented about the arrest on social media. I think it was planned because all the cops, all, all the, the adults were surrounding him, grabbing him, at least he was assaulting her. In a statement to NBC6, Bauman's attorney says he's the victim of a robbery by an unknown student by sudden snatching, and that, quote, the police further would not assist him in retrieving his stolen personal private property. My client used absolutely no unnecessary physical force to legally obtain his property back in his rightful possession. All right, Bauman will be in court tomorrow. So will we. We also reached out to the district to ask about the student who allegedly instigated the whole incident, whether or not she'll face any charges or any disciplinary action. They referred us to the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Reporting live tonight in Fort Lauderdale, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.